So today's challenges. Uh, the first picture is kind of where we're at in rice and kind of what we see from a day to day. I don't know if you can read that back there, but um, so our stakeholders, our major stakeholders, we have KC and they're new components. You know, we need new components and we need it yesterday. All right. Um, they're on a big time crunch to get their UIs up to date um, very, very soon. So they're really about, they're getting, the UXY team is doing mocks, creating all kinds of new cool stuff, and they want that in KRAD and want to push it out. Uh, we have KS up here, and, and what I think the, the main things I'm hearing right now is, let's look at architecture, let's look at how we're extending the framework, and let's look at the stability of the framework, with upgrades and so forth. Yeah. Could you give us an idea of uh, the size and complexity of uh, Koyas? It's... Uh, you know, I um, don't know the Kobe is very well, but I can tell you it's much bigger than KFS. Um, I don't know how it compares to quality student because I'm just not as familiar with both of them. But it's pretty big. I would. I don't think it's as big as quality student. And lots of diverse UI or not like quality student. Okay. It's it's um, well, that was sort of the problem though. You know, initially they built it. It's more of an administrative financial system app, and that's where a lot of the negative feedback's coming from. So they're trying to. You know what I mean? And COE has had a lot of challenges because there was just so much data to collect for these research applications that they had to somehow structure on the screens to provide basically everything in a way that people can get to it and fill it out. So there were a lot of challenges with that UI, and it was messy. So complex screens, but not at the scale of quality student. It's quality student involves so many different systems. Yeah. yeah, their main challenge there is, is the faculty that uses, uh, you know, um, so they have non-administrative users that they, you know, that they were kind of presenting an administrative screen to. Yeah, and they've got graduate students because graduate, graduate yeah. students are doing the research, and so they yeah. have to go in and enter all of this data. And one, one thing to, to remember is, is it's not just administrative versus faculty versus students either. It's about frequency of use, yeah. and it's about... Yeah. Um, education that happens ahead of, of actual use of the software. Um, you know, there's parts of KC that, that barely ever get used by people, and when they do get used, it's, it's on a very infrequent basis, and so you have to have a pretty decent um, basis on which to build from either through consistency of the application from screen to screen, that the, the screens are super consistent, or the, the experience is so intuitive that there doesn't need to be any training. So there's, there's two ways to approach that problem. Mm -hmm. So initially, KFS and KC wanted to pure consistency across all the screens so that everything kind of made sense. What they're, what they're seeing is that a lot of times that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. so you kind of have to go beyond that, that initial concept of we could just throw out screens quickly and get them up on, on, on an application and it's going to be consistent and so people will just understand how it works. Mm -hmm versus coming into a screen without any prior knowledge and being able to use it. Mm -hmm. And so that's actually the approach that KS took, mm -hmm. um, which was to come in and have an intuitive screen, but coding those in any consistent velocity has been difficult. Mm -hmm. So we're actually looking to go back to more consistent screens. Um, yeah, there's, there, you can go hammer-handed either way. You can either go way to... Um, customized for the user, or you can go way too consistent for everybody. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, good point. Let's start with remember that usable and consistent aren't like mutually exclusive or dichotomous. No, that's, not, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, like, as, as, a, as a development approach, leaning on consistency to manage your user experience expectations versus coming up with a user experience design and user-centered design first, mm -hmm. um, those those are somewhat in opposition, and, and having consistency versus a um, user-centered design is, is always that balance of how to come up with something that makes sense for the application, for the developers, and for the users. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sort of think this is probably going to lead into a little bit of the last topic here, working with the framework and how a college student works with the development framework. Um, just to finish this off, then, uh, so... Quality co is the new, new components, quality student, look at architecture, extending stability. KFS, stop changing things. 
<laughs> get us on KRAD right now. Um, and then the rest of the community, help us. This doesn't work, this past version, and you sent out. So that's the noise, I guess, that, uh, you know, at the Rice team, we see it uh, right now quite a bit of.